Hey guys, it's taken some time and definitely some experience to get my ZZs looking their best. Let me guess. You have a ZZ plan and it seems to be doing fine, but you aren't really getting a ton of new growth. There are probably some small tweaks and changes you can make to get your ZZ plant to thrive and flourish. I'm going to be sharing some really important care tips as well as some key considerations that you can make in terms of caring for your ZZ plant. This way you too can have a ZZ plant that starts to sprout some new growth. Now, I have several ZZ plants around my house, and some are under the same conditions, and some of these conditions are quite different. And it's this sort of unintentional experiment that has really permitted me to get some insight in what it takes to get a ZZ plant to really flourish. I want to share with you guys my understanding of what optimal conditions work best for the ZZ plant. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler and if you like what you're seeing or you find this video to be useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or better yet, you can subscribe to my channel. All right, so before jumping into some of these things that I've realized, let's cover the basics and start with general care tips for these house plants. Typically what you hear is these plants are extremely low maintenance and can handle some abuse and neglect. And in some respects, I do think that these plants can tolerate a wider um, array of conditions and remain relatively healthy. However, that doesn't mean that they will grow and truly uh, thrive. Again, typically what you'll hear when it comes to lighting is that these plants need bright indirect light and can tolerate some lower light conditions. In terms of watering, generally what you hear is about once every other week. Now, what I've come to realize with the different ZZ plants placed around my house is that the one ZZ plant that typically gets about an hour of direct sunlight followed up with a lot of bright indirect light seems to be doing the best. You can tell that this ZZ plant seems less stretched out than this other one I have basically, I think due to that little bit of extra direct sunlight. Now finding a spot in your home that allows your ZZ plant to get that little bit of extra direct sunlight may be relatively simple or complicated, but I really think that this made a difference. Now just keep in mind that direct harsh afternoon sunlight is not good for houseplants like the ZZ plant, so getting that extra bit of direct sunlight really should be um, early morning or late afternoon light. Now, watering your ZZ plant every other week or every couple of weeks is a great place to start, and when I think about how often I watered this plant here that's flourishing, I would say I even watered it less than every other week. Obviously, the plant will tell you when it needs to be watered. Like I said, I've had really good success watering this plant here slightly less than every other week. However, when I do water it, I gave it a really good soak. I think one of the biggest things I've learned from having multiple ZZ plants around my house and really seeing some explode with new growth while others have virtually no new growth is soil composition. Now, I had another ZZ plant that I had potted up in a sort of typical, your typical well-draining soil mix that included some perlite and coconut coir with some extra added grit, and this ZZ plant just wasn't really 
thriving. I think there was like one sort of really small um, new growth on it, but virtually no new growth compared to all of the growth I had on this plant here. All right, so without getting into too much crazy detail, the plant right here that seems to be flourishing the most was potted up in uh, a medium bark size and peat moss um, soil, and this really seems to be key in having your ZZ plant really thrive and flourish. And I actually had another ZZ uh, plant in my home that I had sort of covered the top of the um, surface of the soil with like a small grit for aesthetic purposes and this ZZ plant was not doing well whatsoever. So to summarize uh, what I've sort of concluded from all of this is that your root system or the root system on your ZZ plant really appreciates some aeration and the roots really want to breathe and get that contact with the air. So by using um, a well draining mix that includes bark, I think is what has created sort of the most success for uh, this flourishing ZZ plant right here. And in terms of fertilization, now on one of these plants in early spring, I um, gave it some of those slow release um, pearls, while the other ZZ plant I did do, I fertilized it also in early spring, but I used a liquid um, fertilizer. Now the ZZ plant right here that got the liquid fertilizer is doing quite a lot better and that's not too much of a surprise. So in total on this plant, I have 10 new shoots that have sprouted, some of which are, you know, basically almost already fully opened which is crazy, whereas on one of my other ZZ plants, I only had one new shoot of new growth. So I've since changed the soil mix in that ZZ, obviously, and I've gone ahead and used an orchid bark mix. And since doing that, I've noticed actually three new growth shoots um, on that plant. So. It's kind of reinforcing my thinking on the soil composition, uh, but only time will tell. How are your ZZ plants doing? How much new growth do you have? Let me know what's worked or what hasn't. Sound off in the comments down below. Well, that's it for me. Oh yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button or give this video a thumbs up. Miss you guys already. Until the next one. <laughs>